our light show leaping arches uh, it consists of a three quarter px tubing um pixel strip light uh, we do uh we purchase this on 30 foot length and then cut to length um here is how we just cut it and make a new wire connection to it um, first i cut it and remove this plastic covering waterproofing covering i just use knife make a cut that, that's exposed the strip then I cut the edges here just to be sure I don't cut the heat shrink and like that just to give you a nice look then after that so it comes the tricky part you gotta yeah you solder an iron hot clean it um, First, you're gonna be doing it, putting a little bit of solder on the strip. That don't require a lot of time, a lot of heat time applied to it. Then, got the cable line ready. I already strip a portion and I'm gonna add solder to the wire as well. ready got some solder on it it got some solder solder on on the tip see it's basically cover all these copper points there not touch one to the other one so when I proceed to hook the wire to it now see it's quite long so I like to just cut to length you don't need more so I always start with the data of the center pin. Um, this is my little just put the soldering tip on top of the wire. I will start with the centering, it's a lot more easier to control and not have much of a mess. nice in the soldering tip um, we purchase heat shrinks in a bulk uh, I use it a lot I like them um, look professional just get slide it in over the portion. Get the heat gun.
heat gun is set to around 800 degrees. So this should be enough for 30, 40 seconds, have enough to shrink it. And the heat shrink to unseal it, that way you're gonna have to. Um, another thing that the cable we purchase so it comes in and it's not polarity market so i use the time now to just make the mark and mark the ground divide the ground from the power so i just follow the cable find which lead it is put it out get a piece of electrical tape Yeah, wire flat. That way we can separate the the neutral hole, the DC negative or twelve volt negative ground, or whatever you guys call it, from the power. Um, we're gonna speed up the installation one is on the on the. I do also get another mark. Well, this is gonna be a temporary mark where I get my label, my wire label machine connected. This is the data output side. So since we are running in data output side, so I just want to be sure that when I install this, I install it in the correct position. So you got a piece of masking tape. Make another flag around, around the end. Pull out your Sharpie, simple DO. It should explain you that it's data output. Um, help you out to, to not make mistakes later on when you are installing the strip or redo the work because you got the wrong end. Um, just a quick tip on how we do our wiring connection to the, to the piece or strips. Um, probably other people do it different. This is the way that we do it for our lights. Hopefully the video is quite informative and help you guys how to be more confident on cut, splice, your LED strips. See you in the next one.